news earlier. We had Storm Tracker 7 on the road showing you how the wind was blowing yeah. trucks around. Some of, those, some of those semis, especially on the uh, north-south roadway, is kind of moving around a little bit. Uh, wind's calming down here tonight, so some good news there, but uh, cooling off a bit. Take you outside here live over downtown Dayton where the temperatures dropped to 46 after reaching up into the 50s earlier today. Southwest winds at 9. Actually cooling off from a southwest wind. Visibility at 10 miles. Had 13 one-hundredths of an inch of rain. That fell very early this morning. In fact, most of it falling after midnight last night. And as you head out the door Wednesday morning, grab a, well, at least a light jacket. We'll be in the middle to upper 30s. About 36 in Greenville, 39 in Xenia, 39 in Springboro, and in Wilmington. Live Doppler 7 radar. It is quiet. We do not have any rainfall anywhere nearby. Even though you look at the radar and you say, well, there's some green showing up. Uh, we are picking up some returns aloft from some high clouds. Uh, this rain not making it to the ground. The air at the surface very dry. So other than some scattered clouds moving by here over the next couple of hours, we do not anticipate we'll get any of that rain to actually make it to the ground. What we will watch is a cold front approaching from the northwest. That will come in as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday. Very little fanfare with that front, but it will be bringing in cooler air. So temperatures tomorrow will be in the 50s. We're going to start to get some of this colder air to filter in gradually with a much bigger surge of that colder air coming in as we get into Friday and certainly into Saturday. A large chunk, for lack of a better word, of very cold air sneaking in for the weekend. This will be the coldest air since April, arriving Friday night into Saturday. The concern, though, is that we may get a little moisture in here as that cold air is arriving. Tonight, that stays to the south. Any rainfall actually making it to the ground will be in Kentucky and Tennessee. We'll get some of the high clouds in here as we head through the night. As we get into tomorrow, quiet, and Thursday morning, quiet as well. As we get into late Thursday, some of the clouds begin to move in in advance of our next storm system, which will arrive very early Friday morning. High temperatures tomorrow, upper 40s and lower 50s, so a little bit cooler than where we were today. Not frigid, though. We'll still have plenty of sunshine, uh, filtered sunshine with some of the high clouds around. About 44 at 10. We'll make it back up to about 50 degrees at 2 o'clock, and we'll top out around 52 at 5. Let me show you what's coming in late Thursday night into Friday. That cooler air, as I mentioned, starts to sneak in. We get some moisture in from the southwest. And that will set the stage for some precipitation early Friday morning around 3 a.m. As we get into Friday, uh, say, mid to late morning, we could have a mix of a little rain or snow before changing over to rain or ending. There it is in the five-day forecast, an early mix Friday. We'll keep you posted on that. Quite it down for the weekend, but look how cold it gets there on Saturday. In the morning, we've got Kirstie in. She'll keep you posted on the latest. Uh, beginning at 425. <laughs> training for teachers in this part of the valley. How the district says it made this as realistic as possible. WHIO-TV is an equal opportunity employer.